I have no idea what we got, but everything sounds delicious. Seems like a couple people ordered the same thing as us, and it's probably because they were recommended as a special dish. I'm very excited for this. Let's start with the scallop. Like a quail's egg, it is very creamy in the middle, but the peanuts are nice because it gives it texture. Yeah. I'm gonna try and dip in some of the fish sauce that he gave us. The sauce makes it a little bit sweet, which I think complements the whole thing. That makes it a little brighter and like. That's quite nice. Alright, it's my turn. It is predominantly egg flavor, yeah. But there's a good smokiness as well. The seafood flavor comes from the foam they put on top. That's not where the seafood flavor is coming from. Has it like foam coconut oil or something? This leaf. I think it's curry leaf. Oh man. Dipping it in the salt, it's like adding salt to your food. It really does brighten up the dish. It's a really nice flavor. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce this time and put one of the curry leaves in there. Because I feel like I didn't get the full experience. Mm. Right? It changes entirely. The curry leaves are so fragrant. It's like an aromatic curry where it's light and it's freshening rather than punchy. I'll give the snail a go. How can you explain this texture? Other than the fact that it's like octopus and squid. It's a very firm, chewy texture. Kind of like cartilage, but bouncier than cartilage. Right. Not as crispy as cartilage. It's marginally sweet. But honestly, this isn't my favorite. I think if it's cooked in a different way, I would like it. I prefer the flavor components of the skull egg. Can I try the sauce first? That is salted egg. It is sweeter than your usual savory salted egg sauce. It's very flavorful, even though it's so sweet. Let's try the whole thing. Uh -huh. mm. The texture is kind of like a chicken heart. It's quite a hard, chewy texture. The flavor is as light as octopus or squid. It's predominantly the texture that you're here for. Because you're sucking all the sauce along with it, you get all the flavor from the sauce, and you get the enjoyment of eating it with your hands too. It's good. It's got this hard bit, and you've kind of got to grab that with your teeth and pull out the whole thing. The whole thing will come with it because it's attached to the snail. I'll have a go with what you said was the taro sauce. Well, the waiter said it was the taro sauce. Looks like it's shredded and then fried because they look very crispy. Simplest way to describe it's like shredded potato chips. Sweetened by the sauce they pour on top. It's a very light, clear sauce. It looks almost like a diluted sweet sour sauce. And it's very refreshing. Let's give the tar a go. <laughs> It's like if you deconstructed an onion ring. An onion ring dipped in sweet and sour sauce. Mm. Right, see? Mm. That's so good. We ordered another dish because the table beside us had this and it looks so good. I don't even know what it is. Neither of us do, but it was sitting on two gigantic shells. And it didn't have all the sauce on it, so we thought maybe it's just a simpler flavor. We're not even sure what kind of shellfish it is, so let's give it a go. It looks like they cut it up. It also comes with a bit of curry leaves underneath it, but let's just try it by itself first. I actually think that's abalone, but I haven't had enough abalone to actually confirm. It's quite chewy, but the flavor is so good. It tastes quite seafoody, but also very strongly of the garlic that they cook it with. Since this one is a lot more simple, I think that I'm enjoying this more than the ones that came in quite heavy sauces. The garlic delicious. Very sweet, 
and the nuts just give it a little bit more body. Nothing is wasted because it's cooked directly on the shell. I think this is the way to go, honestly. No need for fancy sauces, just the seafood and a couple of vitamins. That was so satisfying. It was. I think what I was most surprised about was even the dishes that didn't focus on seafood, I still enjoyed it a lot more than I thought it would. Everything we had here was amazing. I would personally recommend ordering the seafood that focused more on the shellfish. Even then, the specials are good. They're specials for a reason. It's because they know what they're doing and they make it well. So regardless of what you order here, I think you can't really go wrong. Even though the taro salad was good, I think I would personally just order more of the seafood because that's what I came here for. Saying that, you won't go wrong ordering anything. They have so much variety and all of the tables are full and all of the tables have ordered different things. I think it's a must try in Vietnam. It's a cultural thing, it's a local thing. As per usual, if you want to find out where this restaurant is and its opening time, we will put the information in our article which is linked in the description below. Otherwise, to find out where we are now, go follow us on Instagram at twinspeakeco. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.